Greetings WIS community and welcome to another technology tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to be talking about migrating your Google Drive folder to another Google account. So it's that time of year where for one reason or another, whether you're retiring or transferring schools or graduating, um, you will indeed be leaving your Google Drive account behind at the school. And I want to make sure you're able to take with you all of the documents uh, that you want to keep. So we are going to explore a web app known as Drive Migrator that's going to assist us in transferring our Google Drive documents from our WIS Google Drive to another Google account. Here's how it works. Step one is simply to create a new folder in your Google Drive. You can call it whatever you want. I created one called WIS Archives, right? And inside that folder, I want to put everything that I want to take with me, all right? So this is just some sample data, some old documents that I want to take with me to my new Google Drive account. Perfect. The next step is to then share that folder to my new Google account or it could be an existing one, to my personal one. I want to share this folder with that account. All right, so I'm going to click Share. And I'm going to share it to my other account, which is right here. Anderson at gtrainerdemo.richardaanderson.org. OK. And I'm going to click send. Now it's prompting me saying that I'm sharing this with somebody outside of my domain. Okay, This is an account that is outside of the WIS Google Apps domain. And that's okay, of course. This is what I want to do. So I'm going to click yes. And now I realize this has been shared with one other person. And if I refresh the screen, you're going to notice that the folder icon has now changed. It has this little icon that it indicating it is now a shared folder. Now that's great. I can certainly already access that folder with the Google Drive of this account. But the key issue here is ownership, okay? Even if I can edit those documents and I'm not the owner, the minute this account is deleted and disappeared, all those Google Drive documents go away with it. So I need to make sure that my new account is the owner of those documents. And this is where the Drive Migrator comes into play, okay? So in your new account, right, so let's leave with, we've, we've shared our, our archives that we want with our new account. We don't have to come back to here anymore, okay? We've already shared it. What you're going to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and search for the Drive Migrator app. You're going to install it by clicking the free button and then authorize it uh, to operate. Okay. Once you've authorized the app, you can then click on the Drive Migrator application. Again, this is in your new Google account or your personal one. Let's go ahead and authorize. Great. So at this point, what we need to do is we need to copy the Google Drive files and folders. So essentially what we're going to do here is take that shared folder and we're gonna make a copy of it in our new Google account in order that this new Google account is the owner of those documents. Again, this boils down to ownership. Um, because if you're not the owner of the document, the minute that account is gone, everything will disappear. So you just want to be sure that your personal or your new Google Apps account is the owner of all those documents. Okay. 
So now we're going to select that shared folder. When we click in the middle there, it's going to uh, look. And here I found it right here. This is the WIS archives, which is currently owned by my Anderson at WIS.edu account. But since I'm leaving, I'm not really leaving, but if I were leaving, I would select this and I'm going to hit copy. And it leaves me a message saying that it's in the process of copying. If I had, it takes about a day to copy 5,000 files. I, just, I don't have nearly that many in this example. So um, it will take probably five, 10 minutes, but it's going to send me an email when it's complete. Um, so I will probably stop this video while it's doing the processing and resume um, a few minutes later. And we'll just look here. It's, it's 1024, the current time. And we will look at the time once more when I check my email. And we're back. So notice I received an email from the Drive Migrator script. Um, and it's from myself saying that the backup has been uh, successful. I'm just going to go ahead and let's look at the time. It's 1029. So uh, that took a good uh, five minutes to do, but it, yours will probably take much longer if you're backing up much more files. So it's something you're going to want to do, just kick it off and then just come back to it once you receive your email. So I can open up this email and I'm simply going to click uh, open the folder. And I get this folder called my backup. And all of these are in their original formats. So if it's a Google Doc, it remains a Google Doc. And the minute I click open in Drive, it will add this backup folder to my Google Drive. And you will notice that if I look at the ownership of these uh, documents, that they are now owned by my new account. Okay, so when the other one is deleted and gone, I know that I still have a copy of that document. And that's exactly what it is. We didn't really move any documents um, because you're not allowed to transfer documents outside of your domain, but you can make a copy. Um, so essentially the process was making a copy of a document that you had shared uh, with yourself. So that's pretty much it. That's how you would uh, migrate uh, an entire Google Drive folder um, from one account to the next so you can keep all of your work with you. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching. Bye.